Hi, who are you? That's the question we're going to tackle today as we look at keys to win at life. I'm Ruth Taylor, your life hurling coach, welcoming you to Keys to Win at Life. I'm here to share some keys with you to help you to win gold in the race of life. Stay tuned for today's key. Our key for today is be self-aware to win. Self-awareness is wrapped up in the old adage, know thyself. This key became more meaningful to me when I began teaching career guidance. One of the steps in planning your career is to do a self-assessment. When we do this, we are getting to know ourselves, our strengths, and our weaknesses. And this helps in determining which career choice matches our skills and abilities. But guess what? It's difficult to choose what's best for you when you don't know yourself. As Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. And that is why we need to be self-aware. According to psychologist Dr. Daniel Goldman, knowing one's internal states or preferences, resources, and intuitions is what self-awareness is all about. And the studies show that the more highly effective persons around us are persons who are quite self-aware and there are five benefits of being self-aware that i find quite interesting when you are self-aware it helps you to control your thoughts emotions and behavior if you know what is going to trigger you to behave in a way that you would not want to behave then you are able to control your emotions and that is one way that self-awareness comes in handy Self-awareness also helps you to be purposeful and proactive in your actions so you can act with intentionality. When you know, for example, that your goal is to be at a particular destination in uh, um, five years' time or three years' time, then because you're working according to that goal and you're aware of it, it will affect the decisions that you make and now you know what to say yes to and what to say no to because you are aware of your goals. Self-awareness also develops compassion for others. I find this is born out when we're dealing with children. For example, I may see my child behaving a particular way and then I remember that as a child I behaved that way. Therefore, in attempting to punish I will change how I punish or discipline because I'm aware that as a child I used to act like that. Self-awareness is a crucial trait of successful persons. Cornell University in examining 72 executives at a public and private companies with revenues from 50 million to 5 billion found that a high self-awareness score was the strongest predictor of overall success. And of course, when you're self-aware, you know what you can do, your strengths and your weaknesses, it builds a sense of confidence. So I want to encourage you to be in tune with who you are because it will help you on your road to progress. One way of becoming more self-aware is to do personality tests. I know when I did the Kersey temperament test that it revealed some things that were quite intriguing and it helped me to accept some things that I was struggling with to know that this is part of my personality and uh, therefore, you know, I can cope with it, I can live with it. It the, the results explained why I did what I did and it enabled me to operate with a greater sense of peace. Now, there's a proverb that solidifies this key and it's a Jamaican proverb. It says, monkey must know where I'm going to put him tail before him order trousers. That means a monkey must know where it's going to put its tail before it orders its trousers. That's a Jamaican proverb reminding us to be more self-aware. So that's our key for today. Be self-aware too. And if you like these life keys, subscribe to my channel. 
channel share these tips and like these videos and stay tuned i'm ruth taylor saying tough for now until next time